Hello guys, it's Thrak here, and this time I am in a Banshee. Now I've neglected this mech for so long, so I had to get in it and try it again. Uh, to be frank, I haven't played much with this mech because it's it apparently got its quirks nerfed while I was in the military uh, in the last summer, so it doesn't have that amazing uh, energy heat jam bonus, it only gets a minus 5%. Um, I think we abused it so much that it got nerfed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I have five light pulses in this, and they are all on my shoulders. That's why the small lasers are there. They are there to bump the light pulses on my shoulders. And with this mech, you can make amazing peaks. It's just that it's not as heat efficient as before. So it heats up uh, very quickly when you are pressured. So that's something to keep in mind. Negative. And Sorry. we're on Grim, and on this map, uh, I'm actually advantaged because um, I can just uh, pull down and hill hump, uh, abusing my bonds and dumping that sweet, sweet 55 alpha to anything I see, and that's what I intend to do. And I'm really hoping that my team doesn't NASCAR off into the enemy and they just stay here and try to hold the line and looks like that's what's happening um, so acquired. this is a 95 toner you don't see these mechs very often because I think people don't build them well most people gravitate towards 3E which has ballistics but I think putting 3 AC5s in the 3E is a mistake because it's it's, it's just so much face time that killing a banshee with that much face time is just trivial uh, but the 3M, 3M is not like that, you can dump your alpha and then twist or you can just slide back into cover before they realize what's happening and that supernova uh, got hit for like 70 damage by me in mere seconds and this is a very nice position I'm abusing right now um, I am pre-aiming at the spots that the enemy will likely to pop up and you can see my aim is <laughs> really steady there and the idea is to dump the alpha before they realize what's happening and when they retaliate you are already sliding back into cover yep that's exactly what happened with the hunchback there <laughs> he manages to lock me but yeah they are easily spoofed because I am running radar derp The Warhammer manages to retaliate, but he could only fire with his mediums. Target acquired. Again, the same thing with the Warning Supernova. So as I said, the CT on this mech is, gets really Warning punished when you're acquired. staring at your enemies. It doesn't spread damage naturally like, like a Marauder 2C does. Um, so you have to be really careful, but it does respond very well to twisting and its arms soak up a lot of damage so that was a mistake I peeked too much and he <laughs> he did some good damage to me in the Highlander 2C so I'm not peeking that much now and he's because his hard points are low he can't really reti retaliate he's shooting the ground and his city is messed up now I think they are moving on to the left side uh, trying to come around and uh, yeah I think it's slowly the time to move on I'm peeking over these uh, buildings but nope nothing's there looks like they're moving on and, and <laughs> they are indeed moving on New target I got a nice flank here I, there are two dyers down there I immediately grabbed that side torso off that tire. Now I see his New leg is damaged. I'm gonna work on his dam le damaged leg. But I wanna kill the Warhammer first. And he just doesn't go down. It's really annoying. Catafrag shooting me through the gap. It's just too much heat. New target acquired. But I see the tires are still visible from this position. And I leg him. And I don't New think he's gonna last acquired. long. 
Now working at ultraviolet. That's a critical. DPS monster. Are well, they killed both of the dyers. That's really good. Oh, I see the Mauler. I want to really get rid of him. With LRM 50s, he has so much DPS and damage that <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, the sooner I get rid of him, the better it is for my team. One side torso is gone. I take out the other side torso. Or, yep. There it goes. Now he's harmless. I just let him be. <laughs> I work on the catapult. Trying to get the side torso off him. I know he's XL. Oh, he's not XL. He's like just standard. That's a surprise. New target acquired. Smaller, I just let him be. Grab the catapult. Now there's a hunchback, he's lurps. I was trying to grab a side torso and this is the huge mistake I made here. I shut down and when I shut down a supernova pops up. Gets a nice alpha in my left side. But then I mistakenly thought that he was uh, on a cooldown of his laser, so I decided to retaliate, but he just covers my CT right there. That was a mistake, and yeah, I think it had an influence on the end, end of the game. So I need to be more ca cautious now. I still have armor, I can twist. As I said, this mech responds well to twisting, so I'm not giving up yet. Grab the supernova, and I'm happy that he's gone. Now there are Okay, that hunchback is Lurms as well, so they have two Lurm hunchbacks right now. And the summoner is gone, my mid shield is gone, a Kodiak pops up. This is not looking good. Looks like he's dual ghost, it covers my left torso. Okay, now it's getting hairy, so I just alpha five large pulses, I take the heat. Another alpha. He must be really wounded, but I really don't want to cook off my side torso, it's already open. I'm overriding now, but I just don't want to take the risk, risk and it gets me. <laughs> that was a really bad throw. Uh, I think I did enough for, for myself. Um, but yeah, I think I could have done better, but it doesn't matter, we lose. <laughs> I do 1500 damage, 5 kills. Uh, <laughs> I really wasn't expecting this kind of damage, but it looks like this build is really good if you play it right um, and abuse the high amounts. Um, but it feels bad doing this much work and still losing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really fun. <laughs> See you in the next one. So if you're curious about the build, um, I'm gonna show you the build. This is the 3M. As I said, you put the small lasers in first so you can. Uh, bump the large pulses up to the shoulders. When you put the small lasers, they will occupy the lower belly energy heart points, but the rest will go to your uh, shoulders. And as you can see, and when they're on your shoulders, you don't have to expose yourself at all. What you see is what you hit. If you have a nice hold down position, so you can heal hump for days and not get um, any kind of return fire. And that's exactly what I did in the last match as well. And I have an XL 380, uh, five large pulses, three in the right torso, two in the left torso, and I have ten extra heat sinks, five in the engine, five in the uh, in the torsos, in the components, and I have almost fully armored arms because they hold my heat sinks. And they also do soak up a lot of damage when you twist. Just look at this huge arm. So when you twist, um, they will soak a lot of damage. And yeah, they are really helpful. XL380, yes, I do have an XL in this one. I don't like standard Banshees um, unless I have to. Um, especially the 3M is a nice XL candidate, I think, because with the, with the uh, extra mobility from XLs, it feels really good. It almost feels like a heavy, sort of a 95 toner for the modules. I got a radar derp, advanced seismic sensor, and of course, large pulse modules. So that's pretty much it. 
Um, the legs are a bit under armored as well, but adjust that to your liking. But yeah, this is pretty much it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.